crawling. Crawling is a really big milestone for parents and for children. And why is it a big milestone? Because they're finally getting from point A to point B. That doesn't mean they're doing it for optimal movement, right? So there's lots of different, you know, the commando crawls, like even the Huggies commercials. We all do it a little bit differently to get around. I get it, and people see the cuteness behind it. Crawling is a really big telltale sign of poor organizations of previous milestones. Tummy time was hard to, to do. Didn't get into airplane, I can tell you right now. Didn't get into a pubic bone strike. Didn't grab their feet. Um, certainly cannot come up to sitting from their back. Uh, what else is missing? Rolling over was usually to one-sided and so forth. All of those little things. So warning signs are, are valuable to me because what they're looking at, it's not that I'm trying to say what, what's wrong or right. It's, it's, is it the optimal way to go? And for a baby, like even watch me do it, for a baby to be commando crawling, that's a lot of work, right? Versus again, that's what it should take to get up on all fours, guys. But in tummy time, right? This is why you, you do the courses. Anybody can do a rolling over course. Anybody can do a crawling course. I get it. But what people don't understand, what I'm trying to show you are the deviations and then what to do about it. That's where the gold is. That's how you help your child. So, sorry, I have the phone a bit. I hope you can hear me okay. So, in tummy time, right, your baby really should have had a nice back breathing. It starts off like this. And it goes from side to side, right? And you're putting your baby on tummy time, but you're starting to see these things. And then the head starts to come out. How does the head come up? Not like this. Not like this. Not like this. But a head comes up because the pelvis area just drops down and it brings the head up. Right? Now this continues. A child will then go into rolling over. Right? Rolling over is like this. Rolling over is not like... You know, that's not a rolling over. And it certainly isn't where the head comes back and flips the baby back. Anytime you see the hands or appendages going away from the body, that's not a great rolling over, right? So you start seeing those kind of things. Now, grabbing the feet. Now, again, I'm 57, guys. But again, grabbing my feet should look like this, and there's a pump to it. Why is there a pump? Because with that, I can get up and I can go back down, right? It's not about being limber, and then I should start crossing over midline, and then I'm like this, and then I start playing with toys on my feet. All of this comes into play during this stage, right? So then from there, what I call the famous pubic bone strike. When a child is again in tummy time, they should be doing airplane now at this point. Now my hands, my eyes, everything's free, I'm playing and they start to get up, not as a plank. If I hear that one more time, the baby's plank. No, they don't. What they're doing is they're doing a pubic bone strike, right? So they're starting to get up, and then they go down real pretty hard, around four and a half months. But that's what brings the tongue out, like a Pez dispenser, right? And they start, all of those kind of, tongue goes past the lips. These are all little things that we go, my kid doesn't do that, my kid doesn't do that, my kid doesn't do that. And I'm not trying to say what your kid doesn't do. What I'm trying to say is, what do we need to do about it? Let's get proactive instead of going. So these things are starting to come about. Now you've propped your child into sitting. Yay! But they shouldn't be like this. Again, you don't want the extremities going away from the body. What they should start doing now is they're playing and they're crossing midline. And then, oops, they're giving something to you. They're starting to do pick-me-up. The arms are going over the shoulders. I can tell you right now, a child with special needs, their, their arms go over their shoulders and they, they, they go down. Or they can't do it, right? Or they're lopsided, right? And people will start seeing, use this hand. No, you don't, because this hand needs to be your balance to go get it. This is how you get away from the body. It shouldn't be, right? because that's when your baby, and my, my child can't come into sitting. Well, that's, that's right. Now, the biggest telltale with sitting, what I've talked about, and I'm gonna do it towards the camera, I'm back here, I see something, I'm playing, I want it, and I literally just rise to the occasion. Sitting up should be that easy. 
But that's also important because it also starts making your eyes start to curve, right? Your eyes should be able to, you know, I have a lot of children that need help with reading and all of that because they never got into their visual arcs. This is stuff we covered in cognitive vision. You know, we start getting more advanced because of all the milestones involved. But what's important about this and all this playing, because that's how you get into all fours, right? And that's what you need to do. Your baby should not be down here, falling over, coming here, this commando crawling, and this butt up in the air, trying to get up and doing some kind of a bounce and doing all of it. At this point, they should just be up. And, and those are the stages, right, that, that can deviate from all of this. So there's only one kind of things. But as you can see, though, when I'm involved in commando, I'm not going to suddenly bop up into classic crawl. And by saying, I get it, you're trying to encourage your child. There's no good movement to a child. And there's no bad movement. As long as they're getting from point A to point B, they don't care. As long as they're content, they don't care. Right? And they'll start sparking at you. I want this and whatever, like any kid should, should be. But also, if you see this, like bring it to me versus again, coming out to get it. So there's lots of things that you're looking for. But that's why I do these courses. There's a tummy time course now. There's a rolling over course. There's a crawling course. I have pre-standing and sitting. Now, I will go in and grabbing the feet one. People just don't realize how it's probably, more so than crawling, it's probably one of the most significant milestones it is because you've got that whole midline organization. But what's the big thing? When I grab my feet, I pull all these little bones in my feet and all these little bones in my hands. Lots of times you'll see a child, let's say who has cerebral palsy, committed like this or fisted on all this because these all these little bones haven't come out. I can touch any adult and just do this and if I don't get extension or that little taffy pull through the wrist, I know they didn't crawl. They don't have, I don't, they don't have to call their mother. I know they didn't do it, right? But it's the same thing with your feet. You know, your feet are there to do all these kind of moves, but it's to open this up. And a lot of kiddos, either because they just can't or they're just prevented due to their environment, they're not grabbing their feet. So these are what goes into crawling. Um, and I think now that when you have a child that is commando crawling or something, you're gonna go, uh oh, my kid, yeah, that was more what tummy time looked like. Oops, that's what rolling over looked at. Listen, I wanna get you and help your baby from day one. But getting in and being involved from the second you know their movement deviation has happened, you got this, right? And that's what all the support is for. So keep posting the videos, you're doing great. And I'll see you in a little bit. Thanks.